हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू के के यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी वीडियोज अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू विल गेट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव फैक्ट्स अबाउट ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ब्लड क्लॉटिंग आई स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच द ब्लड कॉम्पोजिशन वीडियो बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो क्लिक ऑन दिस टॉप आई बटन यू विल फाइंड इट्स लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल सी वी ऑल नो दैट ब्लड फ्लो स्मूथली एंड कंटिन्यूसली थ्रू आउट अवर बॉडी फॉर एन एंटायर लाइफ टाइम बट वेन यू गेट अ कट और इंजॉरी द ब्लड चेंजेस फ्रॉम लिक्विड टू पार्शली सॉलिड दिस ब्लड क्लॉटिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ब्लड क्वागुलेशन सी ब्लड क्लॉट्स आर नॉर्मल हेल्दी एंड लाइफ सेविंग वेन दे स्टॉप ब्लीडिंग but sometimes they can also form where they aren't needed such as in the deep veins in the legs or the arteries of the heart these clots do not dissolve on their own and can be dangerous to your health they can cause a heart attack stroke or other serious medical problems blood clotting involves interaction of various substances called clotting factors by step wise or cascade mechanism so clotting or coagulation is the process of converting the liquid blood into a solid form okay we will go step by step so that you will understand this process in detail injury see when you get cut that is injury what happens first is blood vessel is severed blood and blood components like rbcs wbcs leaks out of the break okay the next step is vascular spasm what happens next is smooth muscles in the vessel wall contracts near the injury point and this reduces blood loss third important step in blood clotting is platelet plug formation now see when injury occurs platelets gets activated by chemicals released by the injured cells and by contact with broken collagen now these bound platelets releases chemicals that activate and attract other platelets this results in the formation of platelet plug fourth important step is coagulation this process may be initiated by contact of blood with any foreign surface or with damaged tissue there are two pathways one is extrinsic pathway and the another one is intrinsic pathway you will get information about these pathways in my upcoming video before starting with this pathway you must know the clotting factors involved in this pathways so what are clotting factors let's have a look clotting factors or coagulation factors are nothing but proteins in blood plasma which are involved in the clotting process there are in all 12 clotting factors numbered as 1 to 13 in roman numericals now see over here factor 6 is not in active use you have to remember this okay now let's have a quick look on these clotting factors factor number 1 is fibrinogen the source of fibrinogen is liver factor number 2 is prothrombin and source of prothrombin is also the liver factor number 3 is thromboplastin or tissue factor sources of factor number 3 are platelets and the endothelium of the blood vessels this factor is involved in initiation of intrinsic pathway you have to remember this okay moving towards the another factor that is factor number 4 it is calcium it is derived from absorption of bones and gastrointestinal tract absorption okay 
it's the most important ion involved in almost all of the reactions in intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathways factor number 5 is a labile factor also called proaxillarin sources of factor number 5 are platelets and liver factor number 6 is not in active use next clotting factor is factor number 7 called proconvertin also known as stable factor source of this factor is the liver factor number 8 is anti hemophilic factor a and its source is endothelium of the blood vessels see the deficiency of this factor number 8 causes classical hemophilia okay so what happens in this disease it is a disease in which um, blood doesn't clot easily okay then the another factor that is factor number 9 is anti hemophilic factor b also known as christmas factor its source is the liver factor number 10 is stuart prover factor its source is also the liver moving towards next factor that is factor number 11 also called as plasma thromboplastin antecedent its source is liver deficiency of factor 11 causes hemophilia c also known as rosenthal syndrome factor number 12 also known as hegman factor its source is also the liver moving towards next important factor that is factor number 13 it is also called fibrin stabilizing factor or lacky lorent factor so these all are clotting factors which are nothing but plasma proteins in the blood and are important in intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathways and plays a crucial role in hemostasis hope you will find this video informative and interesting in my upcoming video we will talk about intrinsic and extrinsic pathways if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video for more update join the forum and group visit my facebook page for more information i have provided the link in description below have a happy learning